Disney's live-action Aladdin finally hits theaters this weekend, and after a slew of lackluster trailers and clips, fans are heading into the holiday wondering if there's some magic left in that lamp, or if the Will Smith star will be another Dumbo-sized disaster for the House of Mouse. Fortunately, I think this movie actually works, even in the face of a couple glaring flaws. Let's start with the good news. The whole cast is wonderful. Will Smith is the most Will Smith he's been in a long time, but it makes sense for this take on the genie, delivering plenty of laughs throughout. And Mena Masood is an incredibly charming and likable Aladdin. Just about everyone in this cast is solid, but it's Naomi Scott's turn as Jasmine that truly soars. Her take is heartfelt and emotionally moving from start to finish, and her performance of the film's one new song, Speechless, rivals recent Disney ballads like Moana's How Far I'll Go. Honestly, Jasmine might just be the best part of this new Aladdin. Unlike the original animated film where she was simply a pawn in Aladdin's story, Jasmine really has an exciting and empowering tale of her own, providing one of the only much-needed updates to the source material. There's a lot more to like in this movie besides the cast. The backdrops and color schemes are beautiful, the music is mostly pretty good, and there's more than enough nostalgia to go around. The only bad thing about Aladdin is the one thing that's supposed to pull all of these great things together, and that's the director. Guy Ritchie has a very specific style that isn't at all suited for this movie, and he struggles to try and make something that's so drastically different from his own style. Many of the shots are bland, the staging feels odd, and it lacks an overall sense of creativity. Aladdin is about taking chances, and it's hard to think of a time where Ritchie takes even one. All in all though, Aladdin is a fun, charming, and surprisingly thoughtful movie that, in spite of its flaws, offers a valid reason for remaking the iconic Disney classic. I'm Charlie Ridgely for ComicBook.com, and I give Aladdin 3 out of 5 stars.